Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Shry here with another gameplay video playing something with Send Free For All with the AK 12. And today, I'd like to talk about the challenges in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, to start off, I will talk about the camos. And really, some of the camo challenges are a bit difficult. On the ARs, it is the long shots. And really, these maps aren't made to be long shot maps. They are made to be like up close. But if you do get a long shot, it's like super far away. And the enemy's moving way too much. And you just got lucky kill on them. Or basically like that. And another kill. Another challenge, I mean. Is basically, I think it's for the SMGs or the shotguns. Is where you have to get a dogfight medal. And if you don't know what a dogfight medal is. It's basically when two people are in the air and you kill the other guy. And really, if it's with a shotgun... How do you do that? You're gonna have to be up in his face. I mean, if you have an AR SMG, then it'd be a lot easier to get a dogfight medal. But really, dogfight medals, you have to time it really right, or basically, you'll boost. Now, I've, you've seen many people boost in past Call of Duty's for challenges because they like the camels, they like the gold and diamond and all that. Now it's royalty, and I don't think royalty looks that good in this game. But really, these challenges may be a bit too difficult for some of the players or some of the new players but for hardcore players it might be a bit too easy or maybe or maybe it's just difficult for them because of the ridiculous challenges that we have to do now for the mdl which i do not know why you can get a camel on that and not the heavy shield the mdl basically asks you to get kills and go on bloodthirsty and all that but really how do you do that you can't pick up ammo for the MDL because it's an explosive but you also can hardly get any kills with the MDL because its blast range is so so low but really how are you supposed to go on a bloodthirsty with it you can hardly get the kills if you get a direct impact I think that's really the only way to get a kill with it is a direct impact and really it's ridiculous these challenges these are the challenges and they're made supposed to be hard but I don't know, I feel like there needs to be a little balance in it. Because some of the new players, or some of the players that don't play as much, they might want the cool camos, but they can't get it because it's so far out of reach, it's so difficult for them to do it, and they don't have enough time to do it, just grinding. But then there are players who stay on this game about 24-7, all they do is eat, sleep, and game. And basically, yeah, they'll play for so long. I don't even know how they do it. Maybe they have multiple people playing on it, but they will still do it. They will grind out for these camos. Like the number one person, they got the game super early and they played it online. And basically, yeah, they just played it for so long. But then you got hackers coming in, going hacking for armors, hacking, hacking for camos, hacking for stats. I don't know why you would hack for this stuff. I mean, you, I can see the camos and armors, but why would you hack for stats? What is there to gain from showing that you are the top dog? Or like the most score or something like that? Really, nothing. Nothing shows from top score. It just shows that you're hacking if you don't have a lot of game time. But it might show the status of what you have earned because you have put in hours and hours of this game. Or maybe you didn't even put in a lot of hours. Maybe you're just that good in dominance and got a whole bunch of score. But that's not the point of the challenge. No. Some other challenges, like the Weapon Mastery Challenges, is basically all royalty camo, or complete all camo challenges for the weapons. And really, that's a bit difficult right there. I mean, if you're going to get all the weapon camos, that's that's time consuming this cell. And really, to get an armor from that, that's going to take a whole long time. And these challenges, they really make you work for it. They make you consume hours and hours, which is good for the developers because they want people to spend lots and lots of time on the game. They want their money to be, uh, what you call it, made or well spent. Well, the consumers want their money to be well spent, so they'll just play it. Like I am right now, I'm one of these consumers playing these games, just grinding out this game, playing competitive, maybe going for a couple of challenges that are a bit too annoying and difficult for me. But anyways, guys, that is all the time I have for this video. And if you guys enjoy it, hit it with a like and a favorite. Hit me a subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter if you need anything. And one thing I like to add, I know these thumbnails have been a bit on the stupid side. Because my thumbnail editor or dude, he's basically got grounded without telling me. 
anyways guys that's all the time i have and i'll see you guys in the next one deuces